Hi there Waltoners, I'm Jack. This is DSMY Newscast. Well, sort of, because I'm skiing at the moment for a couple of days. So, it's a Thursday, so you know what that means. Let's get straight into the news. Up next. So as you can probably gather, this isn't going to be a normal DSMI newscast, but it is a Thursday, so let's get straight into it. As Disney have just released these brand new pieces of live animated concept art for the upcoming Star Wars Hotel that's coming to Walt Disney World. And it's interesting to see that Disney are wanting to emphasise the immersive experience of this new hotel, as apparently every single cabin will be getting an amazing view of the galaxy. Now clearly Disney are very pleased with the development of these digital windows, otherwise they wouldn't be featuring this technology so heavily as part of the concept art and marketing of this new hotel. Additionally, we have this other piece of concept art, which is a new version of the concept art that we originally saw on stage at D23 Expo in 2017. With it being speculated that this concept art shows us the introduction experience to the hotel, travelling up to the starship where the adventure really begins. However, we still haven't got a confirmed date, name or location for this Star Wars hotel yet. Now over at Disneyland's version of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, Yen Sid 55 on YouTube, which is a great YouTube channel, I'll leave a link in the description box down below, and also She's in Los Angeles is another great YouTube channel, both links will be in the description box. Yen Sid 55 has captured this new piece of construction footage, which shows us the interior wall set pieces of the iconic Millennium Falcon corridor being lifted into Galaxy's Edge over Disneyland. Now if you're wondering where this fits within the attraction, it's going to be part of the queue area just before you turn the corner and enter your very own Millennium Falcon cockpit to begin your journey. So let's talk about gondolas whilst inside a gondola. So it's been a while since we've checked in on the construction of the Disney Skyliner but it's really been making some major progress recently. As we can see in these amazing new images from our friend Bonnie at Walking in Disney over on Instagram, that the Skyliner's gondola pylons are already being set up for the route between Caribbean Beach Resort over to the Pop Century and Art of Animation Resorts. However, despite how promising this development seems for the Disney Skyliner, insiders are stating that Disney are still expecting to open this brand new service by spring of 2019 and not late 2018. Now, coming back to this brand new piece of concept art for the Toy Story Mania entrance. From within Toy Story Land, it seems that this area here to the side of the entrance will only be a photo opportunity outside of the attraction. But the fate of the Mr. Potato Head animatronic returning is still not yet known. However, we now have the height requirements for the new attractions within Toy Story Land. And as expected, the Slinky Dog Dash Coaster height requirement is 38 inches, which is the same height requirement as that of Seven Dwarfs Mine Train over at Magic Kingdom. And it also seems that it will be the same level of thrill as that attraction also. And Alien Swirling Saucers will be 32 inches, which is the same as Mater's Junkyard Jamboree or the Tomorrowland Speedway. Meanwhile, over at Disney's Animal Kingdom, we have some brand new concept art for the new show Explorers Meet Up, a great bird adventure which shows us that Doug and Russell will be on stage for this new show. But it seems that it will be very similar to that of the old Flights of Wonder show, but this time with a lot more Pixar. Oh, and we also haven't had any confirmation yet whether this new show is going to feature the exotic bird Kevin from the film Up. But in my opinion, it's a missed opportunity by Disney if they don't feature this character within the show. Oh, and I just want to very quickly mention that Black Panther came out this past weekend and it's doing amazingly well at the box office, as we'd all come to expect, as the movie has received a 96% from critics on Rotten Tomatoes and has made $242 million in the US and $427 million worldwide already, which are astounding numbers for a standalone Marvel movie which didn't have a massive marketing budget to begin with. I mean, this movie is doing this well and it didn't even get the Super Bowl ad spot that went to Avengers Infinity War instead. Anyways, the film is also making box office history, becoming the third highest four day weekend opening of all time. So if you haven't seen Black Panther yet, 
I'd highly recommend going and seeing it. But now, it's over to you, the Waltoners, as I would like to know where else around Walt Disney World property do you think that Disney should connect to the Disney Skyliner service, and also the reason why. Oh, and also don't forget to put the timestamp of where the hidden Mickey appeared somewhere within this video, along with your suggestion or your comment to be in with a chance to win a DSNY newscast pin. And congratulations to this Waltoner here for winning with this suggestion from a previous video, where we were talking all about the defining moments for the Walt Disney Company. And so that's it for today, so go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel, hit that notification icon so therefore you always receive an update, and also if you've enjoyed today's video give it a massive thumbs up, and I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon!